Apparently there's a bike rally going on. I Can't heard something about that. I don't know what gave you that idea. Where is it? I don't know. Guys, don't forget, we're at Pluto 3. We parked at Pluto 3. Pluto 3. Pluto 3. I've always wanted to see the motorcycle in its natural habitat, free range. And unappeared by the, the whatever. This is funny. It's a lot of freaking motorcycles. How does a town of a population of 6,000 have more than one Harley dealership? No, one dealership. Rest of t-shirt shops. Yeah, but we're at Sturgis. No, there's one Harley dealership. Never been more than one in Sturgis. This has only been here. The rest of them have always been their t-shirt shops. How am I supposed to know this? Well, I told y'all I'd meet you in Grand Rapids. Y'all just didn't hear me, I guess. I didn't hear that. I didn't hear that. Because you, you came by the news. I didn't hear it. There's a Harley dealership. You made it seem to me that you meant the one in Sturgis. John is going, ooh, I want that toy hauler with the trailer. And I'm over here looking at this thing. Like, I, I, I need to start aiming higher in life, I swear. Something wrong with me. I'm content with the small stuff, I guess. I don't know. Maybe it's the fact that I can hide away easier on that thing. So here's the kitchen, and then over here, we have the living room, and right here is the bedroom, and that's all you need. You wanna see what $450,000 looks like? Uh, let's... This is more than most homes with like 20,000 square feet. Look at the bedroom. It's a nicer bathroom than my apartment. I think this bedroom is bigger than my bedroom. Again, I think too low. Who knows, maybe one day YouTube will give me a cool half mil. <laughs> Let's get out of here before I start thinking I can do something that I can. We're running credit apps right now, but they're just running. I got good credit, bad and All right, that was fun. Looking at products, things I can't buy and afford. Uh, I'm more interested in other things. Let's go eat. Uh, that restaurant was, yeah, they were only serving, it was only a buffet and it was only a breakfast buffet until three o'clock. They had a bar attached to it that they sold food. It was like two burgers and chicken strips. That's all they really had. Uh, they're the trick. They, yeah. JP Cycles, I'm gonna go look at shit. I think I've seen more bikes on trailers than I've seen people on bikes. Then, just then. I don't blame them for trailing that thing though. Those mountain roads are real hard when it's on a trailer, you know? <laughs> it makes it real difficult to lean unless it falls over. guy's a poet, just lyrical, just loads. Both Rob and Brian both served in the Marine Corps. Rob went on to spend another 24 years in the Air Force. And he uh, spent 28 years total military service. Retired as a young man. Can sit forward? He was part of a rated team. If you're an eight, if you're an Air Force guy, that is. Please thank you for the military service. This guy's a panty dropper, I swear to God. Like, all the women have to walk away. <laughs> Poet. So apparently the biggest attraction at Sturgis so far is uh, this little dude over here. We'll meet him in a minute. Uh, he posted on MySpace that uh, he wanted to raise money to get his own motorcycle. And that he's selling lemonade on the side of uh, Exit 40. So there's been nothing but people showing up to help this kid get his own motorcycle. and crazy and weird and awesome so let's do it yeah let's help him out I gotta ask you a few questions my man what are you doing um i am giving away lemonade at the tilford exit um 
Why are you giving away lemonade? Um, I just wanted a Lego. So I asked my mom if we could do a lemonade stand, and she said yes. So we did the lemonade stand, but we had too much money. Too much money? Yeah. What are you gonna do with that extra money? That is absolutely awesome. Do you got a Venmo? Yeah. Do you know what your Venmo is? Mom? The Venmo is Robin J, J-A-Y, Dennis. Cool, thank you. Thank you, guys. So, guys, you know, it's charity too, so you know where it's gonna find it. It is now Saturday, November 20th. A dramatically long time afterwards. And surprisingly enough, this is the first time I've done this thing where I'm talking to a camera on a motorcycle since riding a surgeon. Um, it's, 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 it's circumstantial, it's, it's a lack of want, there's no desire to, it's been, it's been an interesting last half of the year and I've kind of told myself that like kind of going forward from here with this channel I'm probably gonna change things to a certain degree. It's a, it's a thing where you kind of have to watch and to see what happens because I don't necessarily know what's gonna happen. Um, I, I'm, I feel like it's gonna be a little bit more earnest and emotional and, you know, just trying to be honest and deal with things in a different way. Um, this, again, this last half of a year, has you know just drastically changed a lot of my mindset maybe not necessarily changed my mindset but kind of like refocused it on a different part of my personality where making youtube videos i want to be fun i want to be informative i want to you know enjoy life and i want to be around friends where there's that other half of me that you know has you know i have depression and very you know introverted and very shy which doesn't seem like the person that i am because, you know, it's something that I learned as a bartender to not be anymore. But it's still who I am. And what I originally meant to start talking about when I started recording now was I wanted to be like, that was, you know, I got Sturgis on, you know, on August 6th, so that's on Friday. This video that you just watched is, uh, I'm trying to remember where I'm going. This video that you just watched was the next day, Saturday. Sunday, I decided that I was just going to rest because I was exhausted from just a lot of planning and a lot of uh, writing. It was, it was, it was, it was rough. It was, that was the longest trip I've ever taken. That was a, a huge undertaking for me. It was very, it, it was very, to some, I guess you can say like broadening my horizon. Um, you know, knowing I can do five, six, seven hundred miles a day for multiple days, but it does wear you down it really kills you inside get back to that real quick what's up brother what's up brother how does this work what's up how does this work what are you looking for sandwiches uh we're closed at 2 30 on saturdays you that's what i'm like I, i've never been here my friend yeah. raves about this place yeah 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 so i was like hey let's go stop there yeah sorry I guess we should go back to my hyperactive mind and uh, go back and try to focus on what I was saying. Um, that Sunday, I tried to take the night off. Um, I was exhausted from the entire ride. It, it was grueling. And uh, while I was doing that, I kind of you know, checked my funds and saw that I have another trip to go on. And as soon as I get back to Tampa and I couldn't go do the part of the trip where I wanted to go to like Chicago, New York and Philadelphia and back down. That was already go That was like right out of the freaking window if I'd be running out of money. And what ended up happening is that I left to go back to Tampa that Monday, spent the night in Omaha, Nebraska. And then just like the next day riding home, like I just couldn't get it out of my head. It's like, I've already done 500 miles. It's already been 10, you know, 10 hours at that point. And it's like, I have another thousand miles to go home. I'd rather get it done today and deal with tomorrow instead of having to do two more days of 500 miles so what ended up happening is i ended up riding home for 24 hours doing 1500 miles don't know how i did it but it's one of those things where my stubbornness seems to get me through things but it also seems to get me in trouble because like man when i got home like my hands were so cramped up weird things started popping from me like, holding a throttle and a clutch for that long probably gonna do that again i can't say i'm never going to
Yeah, so, so as I was saying, here we are. It's almost Christmas. Uh, that's done with the poker run. Um, I'm probably gonna live through the holidays, start making more re regular videos from today. Nanika's right around the corner. I have a Black Friday uh, camera review that I have to make for uh, Insta 360. Thank you very much. It's a camera that I've been super, extremely excited to have. Like I begged them for this camera, which is initially why I did the video of the Insta 360X first, because it's not that I didn't want it, it was just, I really wanted that camera, but I really wanted this other camera too, so that's coming out very, very soon after this video. Oh yeah, and then like after the new year, I'm going to do the Hollywood run in Cleveland and fuel and things like that, so I'm probably going to pepper those in. I'm, I'm trying to catch back up, trying to get back on the track of things, I'm trying to live a normal life again, which, again, is all kind of explained through the next couple of videos. But as I sit here at a red light for no reason, might as well wrap up this video. So folks, you know how this works. I feel like I forgot how to do this. Jesus Christ. I can park wherever I want. And I guess that's where I'm gonna end it. I gotta go to work anyways. Uh, so folks, keep hitting red lights. I'm not good at this anymore. It's been a minute. <sighs> oh yeah, and if you can donate some money to Dennis, please donate some money to Dennis. Again, the little kid just sells lemonade on the side of the street there in Sturgis and surprisingly makes more money than most of us do <laughs> on an annual salary. But he donates all of it. He does get the splurge on one giant gift, and great for him because he deserves it. That's why we all work. And if you're ever a Sturgis, look him up. He's that exit something I don't remember. Go get eliminated. Go say hi. He's a cool little kid. And this is the last time I'm gonna freaking do this. And folks, you know how this works. Do not forget to like this video. Do not forget to subscribe. And as always, catch you on the flip side. <laughs>